Hello, hello. Welcome to lesson three. And uh, in lesson three, we're going to look at uh, fractional indices. Fractional, fractional indices. How do you deal with the uh, fractional indices? Do we all know what uh, fractional indices are? These are powers and fraction forms. Let's say you have something like uh, 4 power this. So how do you simplify this? What is the answer here? This will just be the same as square root. You see, this fraction is the square root. So what is the square root of, 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 uh, of 4? It's 2. You're done. So this is how you work it out. Okay? So let's try another one. If you have, uh, let's say you have uh, 27 power 1 over 3. So how do you deal with this one? This is just a cube root, cube root over 27. And what is the cube root of 27? It's 3. The number that you can, you, you can multiply 3 times and it gives you 27. It's a 3. That's how you deal with these uh, fractional indices. Now, <clears throat> let's say we have... Uh, this I want you to guess the answer for this. Try to simplify this. This is oops, my marker is dying a little bit. You have uh, nine power power three over two. Oops, this looks complicated. Oops, what are we supposed to do here? Try to guess. Let me give you two seconds for you to guess. Try to guess this one. Let me guess the answer. G -g 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 -g. The answer is 27, I guess. I think. Okay. This is what you're supposed to do. We know that this is a root. If you have a fraction, this is a square root. Okay. Two. Okay. The two which is below here, the denominator, shows you that this is a square root. So you're going to put a square root. Okay, now for this other three, the number which is on top here, it means the answer that you get, you put power three. So what answer are we getting here? We are getting a three power three. So what is the square root of nine? Is three and then the power three is over here. So what is uh, three to the power three? It's 27, like I said, I guessed I guessed it right. Okay? That's how it's supposed to be. Alright. So, let's try to do... Uh, before before I give you a challenge, I, I would like you to understand this, though it has not been listed. Anything. Let me use black. Anything. Anything. Power zero okay i've used black because this is a very important point anything power zero the answer will always be one even when you say two to the power zero the answer is one um you say one hundred power zero the answer will always be one or x power zero the answer will always be one so you need to keep this in your head okay and one more thing, one more thing. Uh, you don't leave your answer, okay, under indices. You don't leave your answer. For example, if you have your answer, this is the final answer, okay, you don't leave it like this. You don't leave it like this. If it's, it's not supposed to be a negative power. So if it does got a negative power like this, meaning you need to switch. You write 1 over... 2 okay 1 over 2 this is 1 over 2 even when you have something like this 4 to the power negative uh, negative 2 this one you switch to 1 over 4 power 2 this is how it, it is okay this is the inverse 
okay you don't leave your answer with a negative power no you switch if it was down like this look at this look at this look at this how can you write this one it's a challenge try to write how can you write this one i'm giving you two seconds one two comment the answer that you found comment it comment 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 all right so this will just be like this okay it will go on top because it has a negative power it will go on top and this one will disappear if it was like this it will go down and the negative will disappear this power and the one on top that's how it works this one you have to know it all right so let me give you an exercise you people should be writing exercise so this exercise is one question so if you get it right the first person to comment the answer and you get it right send me a message to my whatsapp number okay my whatsapp number so the first person to comment the answer joins my online tuitions online class for free if you're the first person you comment okay and send a message to my number the number i'll put it at the end follow that number i'll put it at the end let me write the question i hope you are preparing your 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 papers and pen so that you solve this one for me so make sure i comment the answer we don't need we don't want you don't want you to use the calculator that's why i'm putting this condition i will know if you use the calculator so don't use the calculator you are not allowed to use the calculator so the question says simplify without using a calculator we have four okay power five over two we have started there plus eight one all right we go we go we go we go minus two power zero okay so we have four to the power five over two plus eight one to the power i mean sorry not eight one this is 64 64 64 to the power two over three minus two to the power zero simplify this one and comment the answer i'm giving you i mean, I mean, I mean let me give you one minute i'm giving you one minute Time is counting, so make sure I solve, 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 and post the answer or comment the answer. So the first person to comment the answer joins my online tuitions for free, for free, 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 free. So I'll be checking on the uh, on the comment section. So the first person to comment the answer wins, wins, or joins my online tuitions for free. All right. Is the one minute up? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, it's almost done. Done. Okay. It's done. So I'm starting solving. Okay, here. What you need to do is to check the number that is below here. Okay. What number is this? This is a two. This implies that you need to find a square root. Two stands for a square root. If it's down there, just know that oh, I'm dealing with a square root of, of four brackets power five there plus here check it's a cube root because this is a three cube root of 64 power two here anything to the power zero it's a one that's how it goes all right so let's go what's the square root of uh of, of four it's two power mm -hmm. five plus what's the square root of uh of of of, of 60 64 i guess i'm sorry what's a cube root this is a cube root of 64 i guess it's a three yeah the number that will, will multiply by itself three times that's a three three times three is uh uh did i did i do the right thing Oof. did i do the right thing no it's a four here right is it a four come on what number is supposed to put here so let's try a four four times four it's uh it's it's, it's 16 times 4 it's 64 it's a 4 
we're supposed to put a 4 here. Power 2 minus a 1. So now here it's 32, I guess so. That's what you're getting. Here it's uh, 16, huh? 4 squared is 16 minus 1. Here we have 32 plus 15. Because 16 minus 1 is 15. And what is our final answer? Our final answer is uh, 47, if I'm not mistaken. 47. If you found 47, you get it. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on watching the lessons. So time and time I'll be posting my uh, the lessons. So this is lesson 3 of 6. So under indices, we are remaining with the, our main lessons three lessons so make sure you keep on watching all the lessons thank you bye bye